Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Which, which, plus. Suck on that, what if? And in this episode of our season, as Ryan Blaney and his number 12 Menards Ford, we're going to Bristol Motor Speedway for the Food City 500. Now, it's supposed to be the dirt track, but you're not allowed to race there in this game with the cup cars. But that will change with NASCAR rivals. We know that much. I don't know why they could never make some kind of modification in here to just add that as DLC. I feel like that could be done in like 30 minutes. A lot of this stuff could be done in 30 minutes with this Unity engine. Last episode, we raced at Atlanta, and we didn't dominate that, but we led, I think, most of like the second half. And we went back-to-back, -back getting two wins with Phoenix and Atlanta. And now, here are the season standings. We are 48 points in front of Truex, 53 points in front of Denny Hamlin, and then 58 points in front of William Byron. And everyone else, well, they couldn't get to us within this race, uh, mathematically. So, that's all I can really say. Vanilla Coca-Cola. I love it. Actually, more than regular Coca-Cola. I'm too white for regular Coca-Cola. Look at us. Staring at nothing, really. Why are there no setup shit here? What's going on? All this stuff is off like it should be and then 105 no no dnfs the full damage 25 percent four times less wear more grip the strict yellows the, the stages are on the qualifying that's all of those okay the driving aids are still turned on because i did some split screen with my friend Cade. i should probably record videos of that but yeah we did split screen for like maybe an hour expert yeah put put that there and do that and uh, I guess the, the draft effect, the skill... What? Do, why is this changed? I never changed this. What the fuck happened, man? Is that part of the assist? I don't know. The stability, normal. Recovery skill, normal. Starting spread. It expanded. And then... Yes to the mechanical failures and the tire effect, the fuel consumption, impact forces, and we have dra draft partners. Okay. So that's taken care of. Okay, now why is the default set all the way to super tight? We never did that. We didn't, we had the assists turned on because I guess he's not, you know, that great of a freaking driver like I am. But still, it's always in the middle on default and then suddenly it was all the way over there. I'm gonna make it one more tick to the loose. Uh, this... Something about th this game. Like, you change one thing, and then uh, suddenly everything in your championship mode is affected. Come on. Okay, so. Now, we're going to qualify. Goal is the 15-5. I have a tendency to ask questions in these videos. But then it gets lost in the actual process of watching the video and nobody answers them. But, um. How old do I look? Can anyone answer how old do I look? Like, do I look 18, 20, 21, 30? I don't think I look 30. Maybe the way I hold myself is above that of 18-year-olds. Like maybe, I, maybe I look 70. I don't fucking know. I feel like most people know somewhere around how old I am because of how long I've been running this channel or something. But... Denny Hamlin and William Byron are starting the pole. Well, that practically guarantees some kind of points gain for them in this race. I don't think I'm going to pass 12 cars right here. And I'm still 13th. So no one in front of us got sent to the tail of the field. Yeah, this is supposed to be the dirt race. I could just go dirt racing instead of doing this. Austin Dillon gave up his qualifying position for new tires. Dumbass. So, yeah. Denny Hamlin and William Byron. Oh, my God. Look at that car. That car is an 8 out of 10. It's a good car. <laughs> There's not much to gush over, really. 
I'd, I'd say if, like, the blue was stronger, maybe, but it's more like a, a, a turquoise or a, a navy blue. I'm making passes as soon as we start the dang thing. Let's not grab onto the apron, clutch it, and spin the damn car. I say as I do that, and well, I don't spin the car, but it could happen. Oh, I got Kyle Larson going to my inside. He just passed me on the inside. Well, I mean, that's basically what the inside is for at Bristol. To Benedetto. Go, go, go. I'm trying to pass to Benedetto, but he is holding the outside and Oh, Truex, what are you doing? He's just putting the Benedetto on the wall for me. Thank you, Truex. You're a very nice man. You're a gentleman, Truex. Busher is having a top ten run. I'm gonna snatch that from this bitch. Okay. There's Christopher Bell. He always drives the DeWalt car. He should be in the ring car for every race. Did he really run the DeWalt car at Daytona in 2021? I feel like that's the only reason why he would have that car as his primary, is because of it's what he drew. He drew, yes, he drew a picture of the DeWalt car. He did not drive the ring car. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, William Byron is getting held up by Alex Bowman up there. I'm, I'm seeing this shit. Alex Bowman, you're useless. You're useless. You are the weakest link, and now you're just holding the team back. Oh, my God. Yeah, Denny Hamlin's just driving away. Chase Elliott's stuck behind Tyler Reddick. Yeah, that's the story of 2022, I guess. Yeah, William Byron got stuck behind Alex Bowman, and he could just go around him. Oh, I guess Alex Bowman didn't want to do that either. Oh, Truex. I probably deserve to give that to you. This poor man, Truex. I kind of, ow, ow, I kind of expected him to get knocked out of, of the uh, playoff contention in that Daytona race, and I even mentioned it in that Atlanta video that I was doing, and then it happened. Catching Alex Bowman, I am driving past Alex Bowman, I don't have good car control, man, like, whenever I, I get there, that thing is slinging all over the place because I'm in that slightly looser setup. Oh, God, that scared the shit out of me. I'm just looking through the corner, ready for whatever might happen. And then Anthony Alfredo is just backwards. I don't know how any of these guys didn't crash into him. I didn't see that we were approaching Joey Gase in this black and green car. They are not pitting, fine, I'm not pitting. So then only like two cars are lapped down. I think Anthony Alfredo might still be in the race because that was just a spin. He didn't actually destroy his car. Well, that groups them all back together halfway through this 30 lap stage. So I have 15 laps to win the stage now because I'm in contention for that. I said I couldn't pass 12 cars in a stage, but whenever something like that happens, I guess it makes it possible. For once, we actually got to see why the caution happened. I don't think we were supposed to. You're never really supposed to see why the caution happens in these freaking NASCAR heat games. Now, in future games produced by Monster Games, you are definitely supposed to see the caution. I can't wait to play World of Outlaws sprint car racing so that I can see wrecks happen right in front of me because they need to happen right in front of me. Because that was already the case with every damn game Monster Games made for... Uh, Tony Stewart. Yeah, that's the name of my favorite driver of all time. Fuck. Couldn't remember. Ow! Motherfucker! Well, I've got some cars to lap now. I gotta tell you. JC is annoying. JC is annoyed that he puts it on the hardest difficulty, and then the game is not even challenging. What the fuck happened? I mean, there's that, but that's just stupid car shit, man. What is this shit? Like... Yeah, this is the back of the field. I put a wide skill range, so the guys in the back are going to run way slower. But man, the people up front are not even fast. Like, I'm, I passed all of them and drove away from them. And now they're going to be stuck in lap traffic. That's always a Bristol thing, but fuck, dude. I'm winning three races in a row. Yeah, get your bitch ass out of here, Larson. This is Ryan Blaney's year, 2021. You know, I didn't think this Let's Play would go this way. I thought it would be just normal win, like, a few races, contend for championship. No, I'm dominating this shit, and I don't even know why. Jones! I was going to call him Truex. It's Jones. Truex Jones. In the Amaral car. 
you know, Kamikaze, you, you should do a career mode, and your driver should be named Truex Jones. And that's the end of the first stage. Now, only the first stage. Fuck, man. Vanilla Coca-Cola. So there, there's Martin Truex Jr. He's fifth in the first stage. Kurt Busch is having a third place run. Yeah, I, I, I did not mention that. I was running up front the whole time. I got three seconds of damage from smashing that wall, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have to fix that so I can lose spots and actually have something to do in the second stage. Get it all. Get, get all the fuel, all the tires. Only lost seven spots. You made me lose 20 spots. Pass more cars. You know, Keselowski's discount tire car actually changed for 2021. I got a die cast of his discount tire car and didn't even realize until I was looking at, like, Ignition and this game. It's like, wow, the paint scheme changed. And Bowman, you're useless. Fuck you, Bowman. Oh, oh. There's Christopher Bell back there. But yeah, if you look at it, the black on the car with the red line, that was raised way higher. Now it hits the middle of the number. Beforehand, the number would sit, like, right under in the middle of it. Stupid Christopher Bell, you dumb bastard. All of you. Not letting me just be the winner of the race and stuff. The car won't stop getting loose. I'm worried that they're going to wreck off of me. For some reason... It's just not firing off the way I need it to right now. This is strange. Like, I was just kicking their ass. They couldn't keep up with me. Now it's loose. And I'm not passing anyone. I'm still sitting in eight. I got to work harder. I got to be more competitive. Are there tires falling off faster or something now? By it being on normal mode? Because I... Didn't recall that being the case. I have mine set to slow tire wear, and there's a normal because they just don't get much tire wear in these heat games. So I, I try to take away my tire wear because if I give them extra tire wear and put myself in the normal mode or something, then suddenly they're wearing way too fast. There's no if and ors or buts about it. Okay, so I made up some spots. Kurt Bush is falling back. Sadness. Sadness. I keep turning right. Yeah, I should add that. I keep turning right. We're not actually at the dirt track. Boy, it's driving like the dirt track. I'm catching Kurt Busch. I feel like nothing is happening, yet also a ton of shit is happening. And I have to have a caution so I can win this stage because of how awful this car is driving. Okay, arc it down real good. Yeah! Doing that Nickelback voice. Nickelback is releasing a song next week. On the 7th? What day is the 7th? It has to be September 7th. Because if it was 7-9, then that would be like uh, July. It would be like July 9th? and No. I just had to save Joey Gase's ass right there because he's driving slow. I'm trying to climb to the field. Get a few more points on these boys. There's so much time remaining though. In this stage, so many laps. And all this traffic right here should make it easier to, to pass them. Ugh, dangerous game grabbing onto that apron. I just gotta maneuver all over the damn place. I heard a sample of that Nickelback song from like their shorts on YouTube. When you put a video of your shorts on YouTube, people know how your song is going to go. <laughs> yeah, with, with, without context of how shit works in this generation, you know, people don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Dude, I can't, I'm having fucking AI problems. I can't pass the lap cars. Because they're taking up the whole goddamn track. Get out of the way. Fuck boy. Um, Cody Ware. Anime titties. Move it. Move it! Move it, anime titties! Fuck. Okay, so we got Logano and Chase Elliott battling for the lead. Austin Sindrick is locked into the playoffs. I guess I should add that. He has decided to damn near spin himself. I didn't do any of that. Go away. 
Oh my god, he saved it. Okay, we're fine. This is nuts. I should decrease their ability to recover since we have more cautions, but... Dude, I, I can't. I can't this. I can't this. I can't this. Okay, we're gonna go on the top side. Why are y'all not driving slow? Drive slow like you already were so that I can make the pass happen. Now you let Logano go. Now he's running full speed again. Oh. I, I still assumed that I, I would not be able to win this stage, and it's not looking like it. Logano's got him some breathing room. Well, that lost Chase Elliott the lead, I suppose. Or was he already running second? I don't know. Okay, we have our shot past Logano right here. He blocked me. Smooth Lugano. Smooth moves Lugano. And now the 77 car. This is Justin Haley. We're going to go right around him. We're coming up on the end of the freaking stage. Okay, he left the bottom open. Great. And I got too tight. Couldn't clear. Fuck. Ugh. I should be able to go under the lap cars and pass them. Busher! Busher! Turn car! Damn it, man. Like, I'm swerving and jumping across the track, hitting into lap cars just to get here. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Is, is that a NOS car? Well, some of it's NOS, mostly Kroger. There's no NOS car. It's Kroger with a little bit of NOS. I'm going to go around Michael McDowell, who's not really having as good of runs as he usually does in this game. We start the freaking season. This guy was just finishing amazing, and then he fell off. Damn it. I hate the, the lap cars. They're all slow. They all suck. I mean, I'm a little bit faster than the lead lap cars, which is already bad enough. But I mean, all the other cars on the track, they're just so much slower. I never get to feel it get better. I am destroying this car trying to get through the field. But I maxed out on stage points. This game is it's too easy now that I'm in the Cup Series. This is like classic EA Sports games where the, the Bush Series is the hard one. Yeah, just do that all again. And I lost seven spots, again. I should have lost more than seven spots because I fixed four seconds of damage, not three. And yeah, there's Kurt Busch still having a top 10 run. Not the top five that he was earlier. Oh, I want to get loose right here. Yeah, let's get off the wall. Ah, uh, sneak underneath. Martin Truex Jr. Okay. I'm working on him. This is the battle for... Uh, the win. You know, you make your car loose enough here at Bristol, it becomes actually fun to drive, really challenging. Dude, like, it got so tight right there that I almost wrecked Kurt Busch. And I don't know where Kyle Busch is. I ain't seen Kyle Busch at all this race because I ain't been able to lap him, and I ain't been able to race him for the lead lap. Damn, these guys are fast on fresh tires, but then like, I found easy ways to be faster than them once we got to the end of the run. I mean, sure there's lap cars, but we saw what happened with Logano. He broke free of it, and then I was still faster than them every time. The car got loose enough to send me to the inside of Truex. Great. I hate that it puts me in a spot where I have to just send it on him and knock him out of the way into the corner. Because that is the only way I'm going to make the corner is if I hit another car at that point. Oh, we just can't touch these guys. They flip out. Yeah, ow, ow, ah, Truex, Jesus. You wrecked my teammate, but he's okay. He's still eight. Jesus, Truex wants to go. I get that. Kurt Busch is back to running third place again. He's, he's just not winning material. Uh... Well, now we're not going to pit under that caution. No one else is. All right. So it's going to take Kurt Busch to win this race off of the restart. Um, or a restart. 
and uh, we're still going to have green flag pit stops at some point. Not sure how that's going to go. I'm surprised that we weren't in a scenario where we had to take green flag pit stops in the second stage, where we didn't even have a caution there. I, I, I didn't think we did. First caution, yeah, we had one like right in the middle of it. Still got a card on my inside. That's Christopher Bell. Dude, I can't do anything. <laughs> like, it has to play out. It has to take a very long time to play out. Yikes. What are you doing? We're going three wide into turn one. Larson's missing the corner. Truex is just a machine. He's a wrecking machine. This is something, man. Racing at Bristol <laughs> on NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Plus! is something it is something they are aggressive the car is out of control i mean if it not loose whenever you drive it on this setup or whatever setup you typically use just make it looser than you're used to and then voila you have a hard car to drive and ai that are rambunctious but still once i get in my groove and I get, get on pace, suddenly I'm just way faster than them. It's just so hard to pass them by when I have to wander all over the damn track, change my line constantly. I can't just run the same line over and over again because they change their line. I get stuck in this trance of some guy behind me like Truex just knocking us all out the way over and over again. I mean, I'm already doing it, and he's doing it to me doing it. Yeah, Kurt Busch doesn't have winning speed. He has third place speed. Going in. Gonna make the pass. All right. Okay, so I, I made a pass on the inside. I slid up to the top, and I found some grip on the top. I should keep that in my notebook. What notebook? I don't have a notebook. I'm not what if phrasing. I don't have notebooks. Actually, that is false. I have a notebook that I use to track um, in-race stage points and stuff every now and then. Not anymore. I, I don't even watch NASCAR's playoff crap. Okay, so we got like 40 laps to go right here. Denny Hamlin and Logano are just nose to tail. And over here pushing my teammate out of the way to move into second and not succeeding. He did not lose grip in the corner or anything. He just got out of the way. There we go. That's 39 laps to go. About to move into the lead after several laps of this final stage. I chose to try going around any Hamlin instead of smashing into him, and instead I'm going to get put off by lap traffic. I wanted to make this pass happen before the lap traffic, just to be honest. But I think you already knew that. Oh, Josh Pulicki! Jesus Christ! What? Logano! <laughs> They're rambunctious! This is racing. Where, why am I why am I going up here? What why am I doing this? Timmy Hill. Um going to the inside. I will follow Joey Gase past Eric Johnson. Wait a second. This guy is is 39th. He is 36th. It, um I guess we lapped him at one point and we restarted and he didn't get his lap back, so he's permanently stuck in 39th. Something like that. And there's a caution. I, I didn't do that. At one point, I knocked McDowell out of the way. They got to do this thing where they go up and down the track. And I have to go up and down the track in opposite to what they do. And I can never do it. So, no. Green flag. Pit stops. Unfortunately. That can never be a thing in a NASCAR heat game, apparently. Like, I... I Typically, could not have that even in NASCAR Heat 2002. And the only alternative to that is putting on relaxed yellows or no cautions. And then whenever there's a wreck or you spin, you just lose 20 spots, maybe all your positions. And that's that. So it's just black and white. Dumb shit. Wait a second. I fixed those three seconds of damage. 
and I didn't lose as many spots as I usually do. And usually these AI, they don't like take tires and stuff with their pit stops like they're supposed to or something. So I, I don't know what happened right there. Like how did I not lose more spots than usual or something? Make it hard for me, challenge me, make me have to pass a bunch of cars to end the race if I want to win. But we're battling Logano and Chase Elliott here. I'm trying to find my way around Logano, but Elliott's in the way, so I don't have any breathing room just yet. Oh my god, onto the apron. I just shot Logano out of the way, trying to make this pass. Now it's getting loose again. Okay, we're clear. Well, I tried having some fun with the game for once, and doing something new. Memo, do not try something new. It does not work. I, I just tried driving in a different camera angle. That was, uh, that was not possible. Me driving in a different camera angle was not possible. The looseness of the car, the feeling of the car, everything changed the moment that I was not looking at it the same way. And it really, it, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, maybe you've done it before and everything just changes. But like suddenly I can't see what the car is doing. So I can't react to the looseness of the car because I don't even realize it until it's too late. Like I have no idea how sideways the car is unless I'm looking at it. And people say they can't drive in chase cam. They can only do it in the cockpit cam. But then I get in there and suddenly I can't see the car. I can't see what it's doing. I can't feel it. I have to feel by looking at it. The controller doesn't vibrate. Well, there's a caution so I can win this race off the restart. Like usual. I win a lot of races off of restarts in NASCAR Heat Games. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I want Kurt Busch to win this race. Now, I got two seconds of damage from hitting the wall and getting put in that wall. But you, you damn did good young get to see that shit that you wanted to see. The camera angles. Yeah. That's how you say English. All right. Uh, let's move up top. Feels kind of tighter now that it's got the damage, but this is not as much damage as usual, so I don't know. Come on. I'm trying to push, Kurt. Push. Oh, oh. Fuck my anus. God damn it, game. It got jerky worky right there. We got seven laps to go. Yeah, I can win this race in seven laps. I don't know if I'm going to. Uh, Well, no, no, no. He got loose and started wrecking. All on his own, mind you. So, I checked up. Whenever I smashed the brakes, car fucking kicked out sideways on me. And gave me more damage. Alright. So, I lost a bunch of spots. I have decided I am not going to win this race. And I guess Kurt Busch is not either. He keeps starting on the outside. Because Elliot keeps starting on the inside. Truex just fucked the restart, I guess. And he destroyed his race car, and I don't know why. I don't I don't know what that wreck was. 
I, I didn't do that. I didn't I didn't touch him. I don't what the hell? Oh my god, this car just continues to stop driving the way I want it to. How did Suarez get up here? What? Suarez! I'm in a top five run at Bristol. This is not the dirt version. What the shit? Oh, we're coming to one lap to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna win the race. I can work my way around some of these guys. Keep it off the wall. Keselowski checks up. Ugh. I can't help Kirk Bush. Ugh! But I can get around Larson right here. Ugh, just need to turn a bit more. We're stupid fast. And I'm just stupid, to be honest. Playing with the camera angles, showing off the game. Why do that if you can't play the other parts of the game? I'm not skilled enough. I'm not a connoisseur of other camera driving. So, here are the race results. You got me and Trex doing the hokey pokey down there. Uh, yeah, I interrupted Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson's one and two finish. Kurt Busch still got himself a juicy little top five. Daniel Suarez with that good top ten run out of nowhere. Uh, Austin Dillon, he, he he changed his tires for, you know, the after qualifying and, well, he got a top ten. Yeah, if he didn't do that, he probably would have finished better. Stupid head. And uh, all these guys finish a lap down, but it's pretty so that's not a surprise. As for DNFs, I guess just David Reagan, because I know Joey Gase and Josh Balicki, they didn't have like actual problems with their cars. They were just falling laps down every single run. And here are the point standings after that race. I have a full race lead over everyone. Now I've dominated the stages. You see, Atlanta, we can have a dominant performance and it still be very much entertaining. In Atlanta, I'd just be up front the whole time and nothing's going on here. I was up front and leading most of the race, but there was all this crap in between. It was rambunctiousness. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Martinsville Speedway Night Race. Not sure why it's called that. I figure it should have, you know, like a, a 500 or something in there, like a sponsor. I don't know. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.